Hello. Uh, so I'm here to show you a couple of demonstrations we have. Uh, the first one here is this um, IPTV set-top box here. It's called the PVOS, and it's running at the moment XBMC, which is an open source uh, software. So we're showing 1080p video playback, for instance, which I'll just demonstrate now. So the hardware in here is an Amlogic SOC. So we've got um, a dual Cortex-A9 CPU and a Mali 400 GPU. And it's doing full 1080p um, video decoding as well as uh, the UI interlace. The next device we have here is a, um, a sort of a computing internet dongle. Uh, so you basically can plug this into any HDMI uh, device, a, a monitor or TV, power it through USB, and it can run uh, Linux as well as Android. And you can basically make any um, dumb TV into a smart TV by this method. It's got uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi as well, so you can just use it as a normal device. And you've got um, micro USB for peripherals, such as keyboard, mouse, gamepad. Moving on, we have a couple of techno tech demos here. So we, both of these devices are Exynos 5 Dual. So this is a, a dual Cortex A15 CPU and a T604 Mali GPU. So the demonstration we have here is called Timbuktu 2. It's showing advanced um, uh, OpenGLES 3.0 API techniques. So you've got stuff like advanced um, high dynamic range lighting, depth of field, soft shadows, um, and particle effects. We also have an OpenCL GPGPU compute demonstration here. So you can see on this run, we're using just the CPU. Uh, it's maxing out both cores on the A15. It's rendering anywhere between two to five frames per second. Uh, there's about 6,000 vertices here. And now it's going to switch to a uh, GPGPU version. Now we can do this quite easily. So we've doubled the number of vertices here so from 6,000 to 12,000. Uh, you can see the CPU utilization has dropped to single digit and the GPU is maxed out to 100%. And you could just see it, it's a lot more fluid. We have a couple of devices already out in the market here. Uh, so we've got a Techlast A10 um, based on a rock chip SOC. Um, this is just a quite uh, cheap um, Android-based internet tablet. Uh, we have a variety of different um, Samsung devices in this instance. So we've got Samsung Galaxy S Advanced. So this has the STE U8500 SOC. Uh, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the new Samsung Galaxy Note 2. With the Note 2, we're outputting through MHL to the TV, and we're showing the first version of the Timbuktu demonstration we showed a few minutes ago. This is the OpenGLES 2.0 version. So you can see the uh, complexity detail difference between GLES 2 and GLES 3.